My friend, there are different types of investor and you need to know what kind of investor you are. And that really depends on the risk appetite because everyone has a different risk appetite. In this video, I'm going to show you what are different kinds of stocks according to your risk appetite that will show you what kind of investor you are. And there are different types of uh, investment when you talk about uh, companies, right? There is number one, if let's say you are a very conservative uh, investor, very conservative, okay? Uh, okay, this is also not stock recommendation. Please do a own due diligence, but to be very conservative, right? The safest, right, is to in invest in ETF. Mm. Uh, it's called exchange traded fund, right? Mm. One of the ETF is S&P 500 because they gather, it's an index fund. So what it does is they gather all the different 500 companies that they think are good enough to be in their portfolio. So they are very diversified, right? Mm. And over the years, you can see from the, the chart and you can see from the performance, they will grow. And this S&P 500 actually mimic the entire uh, US stock market. Yeah. When the stock market goes down, you can see that this S&P 500 index actually goes down. When it, when it goes up, this will also go down. So these 500 companies actually mimic the whole entire um. US stock market. And this is the most diversified um, index funds you can actually invest in. Of course, the disadvantage of it is the returns are pretty uh, small. It's about, I think, if we Google search, right, what is the average growth rate of S&P 500? I think it's about 9%. Also, not so bad. Like, I mean, it's still at least more than the banks. Like. That's why we should always invest, right? Then putting money in the bank. Okay. This is the safest, in a sense. Uh, next type of investment, right? You can look for stable companies, very stable consumer products, services. What are stable companies? For example, banks, very safe. Huh? That's why Warren Buffett likes to invest into banks. Huh? But not all the banks, uh, not all the banks, we, we, we must always look into their financials as well. Okay, banks, uh, what other consumer products and services that we can think of? Um, for example, uh, daily food drinks, for example, clothing, for example, luxury bags, mm. Jeez, consumer products, right? You won't go away, right? These are very kind of pre stable already. Right, there's a mm. lot more we can think of. All right. Next one is the strong uh companies in terms of uh strong growth. Uh is the term they use to describe the tech companies. So this uh what what does this F A N N G right? What are these five companies, right? F stands for Facebook, A stands for Amazon, this is another A. Yeah. It's a typo. Mm. It's Apple. Apple, mm. of course. N is Netflix. G, you guess what is it? Okay, the highest growth, right, is what we call disruptive companies. Disruptive companies, okay, you must understand that they, okay, it's, it's good in the sense that they disrupt the industry the way it used to do things. Mm. No longer operate the same way so that the industry become more efficient, uh, becomes better. Uh, disruptive companies, and they are usually very innovative companies. 